Hey guys, welcome back. So we're doing another Tombs of Terror. I am doing it on Heroic this time. I finished the Plague Lord on um, on Normal mode. Just decided I'd do it on Heroic. I think it's more interesting. It's a lot harder. Um, I've gone with Reno. And his hero power is deal 1 damage, combo 2 instead. And we've also got the treasure, which is his hat. Which is very good. It gives a minion... Um, it gives a minion plus 2 plus 2 and spell damage plus 2. So basically we've got a really good kind of spell damage deck to go with. There you go, there's his lucky hat. It's pretty good. I don't think I'm going to use it this turn, right? Let's just get rid of that. Well, that's useless. I could... <laughs> Neither of us will have any cards by that point. Do we just have lethal here? Not quite. Yes, we do. Okay. After you play a legendary minion, summon a copy of it. We did that last time. Your minions have one health and taunt. I don't think fits in a spell damage deck. All enemy minions have minus one attack. I think that's so good. Especially as we're playing against a Murloc Plague, right? Lab Recruiter... Because that's draw. This, these are good, but they're just bad spell damage cards. The Arcane Blast is good, but these are just not good spell damage cards. I mean, they're kind of okay. Alright, let's go with the spell damage. I'll try it. I just don't really like those two minions. I think getting the Mana Addict on the board will be good. It's <laughs> zero three. <laughs> Good job, man. Although his hero power synergizes with that still. Deal one damage to an enemy minion for each beast you control. Ah, uh, I need to kill this. Let's just do that. Kind of sucks. Yep, good job playing bees there, dude. <laughs> Is he just gonna keep <laughs> Right. Let's put the spell damage down. Then next turn we got apprentice plus this. I'll kill that so that this doesn't kill that. Might still be able to. <laughs> oh stop it man. He's like, why isn't this working? Nice try, though. Someday I'll be just like you. See if we get spell damage minion first, actually. Not likely. That is really good, though. Oh yeah, this deck we can make some really cool things happen. Discovering spells, Frost Nova. Dark Iron Skulk is good against Murlocs as well, right? Hmm. Cheat Death. Nazoth, right, we're not going Death Rattles. Do we go with Discovering Spells? Our deck's a little bit expensive now. I do want much cheaper minions, I think. Steal a card from your opponent's deck and put it in your hand. That was three mana on normal, now it's one mana. Oh my god. Do I know what he stole? Arcane Blast. Oh, I was literally just going to play this. Alright, let's play this then instead. Yeah, 
I thought he'd do that. Oh, he's down there, though. Okay. That's a bit of a shame because you lose the mana at it, but... He's only got 16 health. Oh, sweet, he didn't use his hero power. Surely he hasn't got any healing. Maybe he's got like a Ziliax or something. Deal 4 damage. That can go face as well. Probably got lethal, haven't we? Depending on what that is. Okay. Doesn't seem so heroic so far, but I think we've got quite lucky with the draws. As our deck gets bigger, we're going to be drawing less and less good spell minions. Can I pick jars? Give your minions death rat or summon a random legendary minion. That is awesome, but not for this deck. After your hero attacks and kills a minion, this game gains two. Pl uh, wow. Okay, I like that. After your hero attacks and a minion survives, put that minion in your hand. I'd like to try and see how big we can get that, and especially against the Plague Lord Murlocs. Uh, lab recruiters? No, we don't want that. Keysmith? No. Pogo Hopper? <laughs> what? Uh, do we just take this for the spell damage? Go on, I'll take these. Pogo Hopper. Choose an enemy minion, add it to your deck. None of these really fit. Maybe your Sarah is quite good. Choose a friendly minion, remove it. Discover a spell, it always starts in your hand. Discover a weapon, add it and give it plus two plus two. Or do we discover a weapon? No. We've got the Wind Fury weapon, we don't need too many. Let's discover the spell first. You can catch a lot of good tips if you know who to listen. These aren't great, are they? Maybe beneath the grounds. Let's take cheap shot. Use a friendly minion, remove it, um choose an enemy. Let's just take this, Sarah. Take care. It was good to see you. I'm thinking about late game against the Plague Lord. That's oh, so good when you get Murloc on turn one. All of their it, all of her lackeys are gonna be uh, zero ones, nice backflip. unless she has Takan maybe. But it's a rogue deck. So, what are you doing? You spent your whole hand to kill my one one and do four damage to my face. I may as well kill that, just um, she might have lackey synergies. Oh, she got that again. Oh, it doesn't like that card. Just stay on curve.
any spell damage on minion I put down, he's like, nope, nope. Did all that and then returned it to her hand. Get over here. I really want to have some spells. Because <laughs> my spell damage is stacking up. Oh, oh. I wonder whether this keeps it throughout the run, or whether it's just for this game. And either way, it's really good against Murlocs. Like the never ending Wind Fury weapon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this doesn't keep its buffs between games, that's a shame though. <laughs> We haven't drawn any of our um, spells. Anyway, we've got lethal here, haven't we? This weapon's going to be so good against the Plague Lord with the Murlocs and minus attack. I reckon against the play lord, if I if I draw it early enough, I could get that up to massive amounts of damage. Oh, Jaina, we haven't got elementals. All right, we don't need the death rattles. The mechs are okay, seeing as I took the other mech bucket. But Ragnaros and Jaina, probably. Let's take it. This is this is healing, and again, late game against the um, play lord. I've got a couple of other elementals too. I suppose we do. I've got spell damage, just no spells. It hasn't really offered me. Oh, the poke up. <laughs> hasn't really offered me anything good. Alright, on to Sari. So he, his hero power if there are eight or more minions on the battlefield, destroy them all. He automatically does it every turn as well, which makes it quite easy to um, clear his boards. Oh, dude. <laughs> um. I do need to clear the minions though, because otherwise he can activate the hero power easier. I'll save the spell damage, let's just get this on the board. Please do the one ones again. <laughs> what? You're gonna use naturalize on my Oh god. Okay. Uh -oh. I need to start killing off some of my minions. Gain five armor, okay. Everything you play is a zero attack. 
Hopefully that's explosive trap. It's not explosive trap. Like this. I don't want to put too much more on the board. There's no point when these are just like good combo cards. Cash, okay. So we've got spell damage plus one, four damage, eight damage from hand, nine damage from hand, it'd be. Oh! I'll put Rag down next turn. Okay. Ooh. Let me get lethal this turn. Three, so we have plus three spell damage. Like this. I should do this first. Oh no, we do this. Then we kill this dude. Just a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Just over. Nice. At the start of the game, play three random secrets. I don't really like that. You draw an additional two cards each turn, you're immune to fatigue. I really like that, apart from... We'll start burning cards. We don't play them quick enough. Especially when we're waiting on combos and stuff. But I don't think so. Especially against a Plague Lord, you don't want to be doing that. So let's take this. This is good. Enemy minions cost one more, and they have one less attack. Another spell damage, plus Chugger. Those are okay. Hallucination, Calicos, Calicos, Meteor, Geddon, Geddon. Geddon damages my faith, although it's healing for Ysera. Uh, sorry, for Jaina. I think I'm going to take Baron Geddon, you know, just because of the healing. Yeah. It could be huge amounts of healing once we've played Jaina. Choose an enemy minion, add it to your adventure deck. Wouldn't mind another Henchclan Burglar. Choose a friendly minion, remove it. Do I want to remove the tricks? No, it's all spell damage. Fill the tavern with new minions. Oh, this is very good. Reduce the cost of your 10 starter cards by 1. We should starting health. Okay. So we definitely do this. Let's fill the tavern with new minions. Because I'm kind of indifferent on that. Don't want to remove any of those. Oh, do we want a Reno? I don't know if we've got any duplicates in our deck. Let's just take Reno. Just because it will get activated at some point. Against the uh, Plague Lord. But to increase our starting health and we'll just leave that. Copy a card from your opponent's hand and add it to your hand, it costs two less. Ooh. So you might take my Baron Geddon. Uh, okay. He might also get an extra. Oh no. He might get a two mana Gazrilla. Hopefully he steals that. Oh, he didn't even play it. Great. That is amazing.
I'll keep the backstab in my hand so that he might steal it. I don't feel pretty bad if he steals it, actually. Don't. Don't. No, I think he took it. Okay, he didn't. <laughs> Alright, there's Jaina, nice and early. This hand's terrible, by the way. Apart from this. He did get it! How come it costs three and not two? He was always going to get it. Oh, because his minions cost one more, yeah, of course it does. Well, mine's better than his. Oh, he might steal Jaina off of me as well. Well, it's less good for him. God. Do I just have to take out that thing? I haven't got any other options, have I? Let's see what we get off of this. Ray of Frost. We did get frost. Destroy a minion costs one less for each minion you control. We're not likely to be able to use the demon bot. Let's take the avalanche. Uh this is sucky. Oh, but I can. Do you reckon he has to? Smells are fun. So fun. Do you reckon he has to trade though? You know what, guys? Boom. I've got the avalanche if he decides that he's not, he's not going to make that trade. If he can't kill this... Oh my god! Is it active? It's not active! <laughs> oh dear, so I'll just win now. My Rio's. Hey, why is my Reno not active? Oh, because of the. Oh no! Because of the Murlocs that get shuffled into your deck. That's why. Oh well. Yeah, so Reno was a bad pick. Yeah, it's never going to be active, is it? But Lunas... <laughs> Lunas could be amazing. No, we haven't got enough card draw for Lunas to be that great. I think... question is, do I want the Steam Surger with... Yeah, I'll take this. Debatable between these two. All three would have been good. What does Siamat do? Um, I think he summons minions, doesn't he? So we save that till next turn. Summon a 1 4 servant. A 1 4 servant with one less attack sounds like a 0 4 to me. <laughs> oh, it's got Torn. Um. Let's just save the. Um, there's no point buffing the attack into a divine shield. It's zero mana, just might as well save it. You still aid me. Oh, I didn't not. Okay, that's a bit annoying. You got out of rush as well. What? Great card. Uh, three. I can't kill it this turn. The 
We'll be able to kill it next turn, I think. Serve me. Can you stop getting that one, please? With the torn. Oh, they all get it. Oh my god. Okay, so this is... So, in the a normal mode, he just summons one and it randomly gets Taunt, Wind Fury, Rush, or Divine Shield. Now they always get it. Okay, well it... <sighs> Losing the one attack was pretty huge then. We can save the Razor Petals, I just don't. actually win this. As long as he doesn't have too many buffs for those minions. Yeah, you'd be good, Reno, if you were active. I could just leave this board like this because if he doesn't buff it it doesn't do anything that seems like a buff to me are we dead? okay he's trading so but how was I supposed to counteract this? I haven't had any minions on board yet pretty much So we can do three cheap shots, or I can Meteor here, which is probably a good idea. Since I play the Meteor. Double Razor Pale doesn't kill that. Do three cheap shots and a Razor Pale. <sighs> Feels so bad. Um, so that we get something on the board at least. This is such a waste of the cheap shot though. I'm gonna die. Look how many cards he's got as well. Oh, come on, man. He's just going to bloodlust me again at any second. Alright, finally some cards. Get on the board. You want it? I got it. Polymorph. Need things off the board. He's obviously going to try and buff me. Oh, I do have the polymorph. Okay, that's good. I'll get him. Okay, we're getting back on the board. Get rid of his tokens. Ah, oh, stop playing big minion. I can clear that though with the 6-3, it's quite nice. Burglar's good. AoE. Volcano's AoE, but it's not great, is it, because if those have five health each. X is very nice. I'll take the volcano just in case he clears me. It's so crazy. 
just yeah. might work. I'll get them. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Stop it! They just keep putting big minion after big minion down. Do damage to non Murloc minions. Good. I think it's quite important here, actually. Now we can kill that. Slowly, <laughs> slowly getting there. I haven't been able to play this yet. Again. Oh god. Just think I need to play Volcano here. Oh, that's nice. This isn't ideal. I'm taking a big risk by not playing Reno. Uh, sorry, not playing um, Volcano. Let me get rid of one of the 1-1s. One Come on. No buffs. Bloodlust. Be dead. Did he just miss lethal? He just missed lethal. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Where's my Jaina? Alright, we don't necessarily have to um, volcano here. Is this going to be the first turn that... No, I'm not going to hit him in the face. I'm just going to clear everything. I can't look. Jaina, just give me Jaina. Jaina! Yes! Oh my god. Um, the problem with playing Jaina this turn is we only go up to 6 health. So at 6 health, if he's got any kind of buff, I'd just die, won't I? I think we might still be dead. If he doesn't have a buff, not just not one single buff. <gasps> now we have life steal. Oh. Yes. Okay, so this has to go in there, doesn't it? I think we're gonna do it now. After he missed lethal by not buffing his minion first before attacking. And finally, we've got this thing. Let's do this. It's not going to buff it, but that's okay. Because I want to do this. 
Get another dude. Oh, and we can actually draw cards with this as well. This game's so ridiculous now. Okay. Can I play rag at all? Eight more healing. Fine. I can't believe we've survived on one hell. Why would you not put that on there? Baron getting for getting for mega healing. I'm ready. I'm ready. Is it time I started doing face damage? I could start building this up and just OTK him with my weapon. We miss rag, good. Doesn't life still, but that's okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. I don't need this so much anymore. I don't want to draw too many cards either, because fatigue could be an issue. Probably not, but like that's why I'm not playing this. It's like we've got 26 damage. <laughs> okay, now he's done that twice. How many cards has he got left? Eleven. I think I do play Geddon this turn. Um, let's do this because I don't want to make a dude this turn necessarily.
Oh, it just comes back as a zero four. Okay. Right. I might be able to. I could kill him next turn. We've got thirty-four on our weapon. Get the OTK again. We are everywhere. You certainly are everywhere. Yeah, he's dead. Why didn't he hit the Murloc first for extra healing? Oh my god, that was a tough game. But we had Merc as well. Right, we need that weapon 100% against the final boss. Discover a card and gain mana crystal for each boss you've defeated this run. We're not likely to draw that because we've got 36 cards. Your, win your minions have wind fury and immune. Summon three 1-1 one -one snakes with rush, poisonous and reborn. I think I'm going to take Staff of Scales. It's just a nice catch-up card that we could have used in that last game, right? So if we need it, it's there. Elementals. Like that, it's fuel. Right, the Plague Lord. <laughs> so first phase is your immune Regenerate. Do what damage you can, and we will finish it off later. Yeah. So the first phase, we just have to kill the Murlocs that he summons. Starts on three mana as well. Okay, but we've got the right treasure here. Oh, Jaina as well on turn nine is going to be pretty massive. So we need to get Jaina out, and we need to get um, our weapon out. Do that for four mana. Isn't that supposed to summon a Murloc? Come on. Yeah, let's do it. Don't want to get overwhelmed. No matter, there are many uh, that's pretty good here. Because he's immune as well. Okay. You call only the weak. We are more than the sum of our scales. Stop summoning bad Murlocs. Give me good ones. I think I can put this down. Despite going for spell damage, we're not really a spell damage deck, are we? <laughs> oh god. I've got Meteor, but I can't play it yet.
Yes. The perfect turn to draw it as well. Like, couldn't have been better. So I'm going to Meteor that next turn, so I may as well just not attack into it. So if I get this big enough, when he changes phases, I might just be able to kill him in two turns. That would be all... Unless I die first. Oh, God. Ooh, that's very good. But I think I'll do this. I don't really want to take three damage, but it's still good. I can take two here, it's fine. This is perfect because we've got Jaina as well. Oh. Uh. Stop it. That turns insane. Okay, right. I'm going to play this. I'm glad I picked this one now. Yeah, we don't want him drawing. I am taking too much damage to my face with this, but we can get it back once I play Jaina. I just need to get to that point. Just don't get any more Murkai's, because that would be really annoying. That's bad. Stop it. No! Oh, I'm getting wrecked. That's not fair, man. Okay. Does that save us here? No, we're still dead. This only discovered spells that I can't play, so this is the only play. So I go down to five. Yeah, I'm just dead. So I go down to five. Um, because it's that one and this one are still alive. So I hit there. And there. It doesn't matter, does it? Oh, that sucks so bad. So, as long as he doesn't summon one more Murloc... Oh no, we are dead. Yeah, yeah, we're dead. We could have done so well, we had the perfect hand, but... He just absolutely annihilated us. It was those three turns in a row summoning five Murlocs and getting the Murkais. Ah, oh, How frustrating. We were one turn away. If I'd just been able to play Jaina, then the Baron Geddon. So we have, if we have the Wind Fury weapon, Jaina, we just can't lose from that point.
I think I would have done all 300. I mean, I don't know what the other phases are like on Heroic, but it would have been very difficult because my weapon was getting bigger and bigger every turn. By the time we switched phases, I reckon I might have even been able to do a, a, like 100 damage in one turn just with my weapon. Urgh! That was tough. Anyway, well, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll have another go at that um, in another episode.